So I have really hesitated to do this for a couple of reasons, mostly because I don't want to overwhelm you with like thing after thing after thing, like come to this, come to that. We have a call tonight. We have a training here. Like I don't want to overwhelm anybody with that. But at the same time, I just feel like our team is missing that like fit for more community because we don't get together enough. Like we can't get together in person really ever because we're all over the place except for summit or team retreats which are few and far between so i just it's really been something on my heart to start doing this weekly but i really want to be conscious of your time so my goal is for the content portion always to be around 15 to 20 minutes um and then if you guys want to hang around afterwards and ask questions that's totally great but just to be so conscious of your time um I want them to be short and sweet, okay? So we are going to start doing this weekly, which I'm really super excited about, and I hope you are too. And I want you to show up as often as possible because my idea behind this is like, I kind of want it to be a pump up session a lot of times, like, because I think the excitement is what's been missing the last, I don't know, several months. It's like we go to summit and everybody's excited and we come home and everybody's excited and then something happens in your business and all of a sudden you lose your excitement or you, you lose the fire. And I don't want that to happen because excitement really does drive our businesses. So tonight we're talking about vision because I truly believe that vision is like the secret sauce to your business and your vision is different than my vision is different than the next person's vision because it should be because we all have different goals and dreams with this business. So I fully, fully believe the reason I saw success and continue to see success is because I knew from day one exactly why coaching was important to me. And I can remember before I signed up, I told Megan, my upline, if you didn't know that, my upline, I was like, I really want to pay off debt. Um, and that's really what this would all be about for me is I want to pay off debt and I didn't know how else I was going to do it. Like I was seriously thinking about going to get a job at my local store. Um, I was going to go in and say, Hey, can I do your social media and like post meat specials? That was my only other option. And I was this close to walking in there. And then I had this conversation with Megan and, and I was telling her about debt and how I really wanted to pay it off. And she said, okay, well, what's the alternative? Like, if this doesn't work out, then what is it going to be? And at that point I hadn't gone to the grocery store. I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't have a plan. And from that moment, I was like, it's, it's coaching or it's nothing. Like I'm going to make this work and I'm going to pay off my debt with this. Otherwise I don't have a plan. And that scared the crap out of me to not have a plan for this big problem that I saw coming in hot towards me because my loans, I was going to have to start paying them off. And I knew that with the, the size of this payment, cause I had like $50,000 with the size of that payment coming at me, $500 a month. I knew that our livelihood would seriously be changed by adding on that payment every single month. So from day one, I was laser focused on being successful because I did not want these loans to completely change our livelihood. And I think that's why I saw success more than anything else. That's why I saw success because I had a vision of where this business was going and there was no plan B for me. There just wasn't. I mean, I had that idea of maybe going to the store, but I didn't know if that was going to work out. I didn't know if they're going to say yes or no, or throw me out because I was crazy. Um, so I knew that I was going to make it work. Otherwise I was going to be swimming in debt and I didn't know what that would look like for me. So I want to talk and I want to show you a few things here. I'm going to share my screen with you. <clears throat> oh, that's not what I want to do. Mostly what I want to do tonight is challenge you. If I'm being honest, I can't give you the vision. I can't tell you what your vision is. All I can do is share with you the importance of having a vision and hopefully encourage you to start thinking of one for your, for yourself. So think of those things that you really desire in life. Like I want you to seriously take time and I don't think that's going to happen on this call. I think it's something that you're going to have to kind of mull over during this week or maybe in the coming weeks. What is your vision? a month from now, a year from now, five years from now? Where do you wanna be financially? Where do you wanna be spiritually? What do you want your family situation to look like? What do you want your home to look like? Like, what do you want life to look like? And if coaching isn't it, if not coaching, then how are you going to achieve those visions that you have for your life? Like that is what Megan really impressed on me. And I thought, 
this is like this is the opportunity that's been presented in front of me so i am going to make this work and make my vision become a reality with it so when i started coaching my vision was a lot different than it is today and i'll talk about that here in a second but my vision was like relatively small you guys your vision for your business right out of the gates doesn't need to be this earth shattering like crazy vision of like completely changing your entire life and completely changing the world. Mine was so simple day one of coaching. And honestly, that took me through the first two years of my business. The first one was to just live healthily. I had never had that figured out before. So my vision was this is going to work out consistently for me. My lifestyle is going to be a healthy lifestyle. And the thing I told Ethan when I started, I said, you know what? I don't know at all how long this is going to last, but I know one thing's for sure. I'm going to make it last through having all of my babies so I can have my body back. Like literally that's what I said. I don't care how much money I make really, but if I can just make this work, no, as long as it can, so I can get that baby weight off whenever it happens, <laughs> then I'll be so happy. The second thing was to pay for my hair. That's such a small goal. You guys, I pay, like $120 every six to 10 weeks on my hair. But I always felt this guilt when I would go before because it would come out of our budget together. And I'd be like, gosh, this is such a big expense. I feel like I'm doing it all the time, but I love having my hair done. So I thought, you know what? If I can just make enough money to cover my highlights every six to 10 weeks, I'll be so proud of myself. Like that would be amazing if I can go in and pay for my hair 100% guilt free guilt free and the third one which was probably the biggest for me was I was going to pay off all of my debt with coaching which I still haven't done but I have paid off around $27,000 of loans since starting coaching which is nuts so with those things in mind I thought if not coaching how am I going to live a healthy life how am I going to pay for my hair without feeling guilty about it and how in the world am I going to pay off all of my debt and I didn't have an answer. So I knew coaching was it. And when I began, I didn't see an end date. It was like, okay, I'm doing this and I will at least coach until I've met these goals. That's what I thought. So I want you to think about what are those things in life? What are those visions you have and how can you achieve those with coaching? So now my vision, and I'm going to be completely honest with you, it's in a changing, it's been changing, okay? Obviously my vision changed a little bit whenever I got like a year in and I started matching my teaching income. I started having these visions of like, okay, what could life be like if I did this full time? And I have all of these things on my vision board, which is pretty stinky cool to see how many of them have come to fruition now, but I put this on my vision board last fall around this time, full-time coach. I wasn't even close, you guys. I wasn't even close to being able to step away from teaching this time last year. Not even close. And it happened. That is normal. Be weird. That's something that I have my vision board. Last year at this time, I don't know how much I had paid off in my loans, but not nearly as much as I've paid now because I put it into overdrive when I realized, oh crap, full-time coach is actually going to be a reality. Um, let's see here, another one I have. Ministry, I put this last year. Last year on my board, I had no idea what this meant or what this looked like, but now that I'm doing this full-time, I'm able to serve at my church on the creative team and on the social media team. And before I was coaching, I never would have had the guts to, to put, cast this out there a year before it ever happened that I wanted to be involved in ministry at my church, like a full-time thing. And I spend a lot of time doing my, my ministry at church now because I can, because I have the time. Had I been offered this position last year while I was teaching, I would have had to say no. We meet every Monday at nine to 10 o'clock and we work for two to three hours every single Monday. I didn't have the time to do that last year, but now like I've been asked to serve in the children's ministry a million times. I don't want to. And it always made me feel guilty until I realized, you know, God made me a certain way. And to be able to say yes, to be on a creative team, like how cool that because I have the time freedom now, I can say yes to this really big thing at church. Whereas before I, that was just not even an option for me. So that one's really cool. I have another one on here, which I can't find it. I'm so mad, but it was just women holding coffee cups. And my vision, I can remember sitting in my classroom thinking my vision for full time would be meeting women for coffee, you know, at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday. I have no idea why I always thought that. But in my mind, I'm like 10 a.m. on a Tuesday, meeting women at a coffee shop, encouraging the crap out of them, 
talking about business, talking about life, sitting with them in their mess, whatever's going on. Like that was my vision. And that's what I'm living now. Because I created that vision a year ago, that's what I'm living today because I knew what I was working towards. So now, to be completely honest, I feel kind of lost because I think and I believe that you should always have a vision that's pushing you forward. And now, you guys, I have like most of the things that I put on my vision board from last year, like the vast majority of them have happened because I knew what I was working towards. But now it's like, okay, Lord, what's next? Like, what, like, what do I get to dream up now? Like, what desires, what visions are you going to put on my heart that can actually come to fruition this time next year? Like, what is life going to look like if I'm willing to create this vision and go for it? So now a couple of things that come to mind is traveling. Like, my vision is to be able to pick up and go with my family. And weirdly, this coming weekend, my parents are taking me to New York City. I've never been to New York City. I don't have to ask my boss to take off. I don't have to lie and say I'm sick to go to New York City with my parents. I get to go on this once in a lifetime trip. My parents aren't here forever. And because I stepped out and because I have this vision, I'm able to go without even a second thought this weekend with my, or this coming weekend with my parents, which like, there's no amount of money or anything that would make me miss that. Like it's, it's amazing. The second thing I think of now is I want to have enough stability to bless the socks off of, of other people for the rest of my life. And I don't know exactly what that looks like, but I'm an Enneagram seven and I don't really picture like paying people's bills. I picture like taking people on vacations with us or fully funding excursions when people go on vacations or owning an Airbnb and letting like, People stay there for free. If they have something awful going on in their family, they just need a getaway, you know? Like, those are the things that I think of when I think of blessing other people. And before coaching, I wasn't thinking that way. I just wasn't having those, I wasn't allowing myself to dream big enough to even think these things. And then the third thing is just passions. Like, before I was a full-time coach, I didn't have time to think about what my passions are. And sometimes, to be quite honest with you, I sit at home and I'm like, what do I want to do? You know, what I want to do with this time freedom that I have, and I'm learning and chasing different passions now because I can. So my vision is like evolving at this point. So I'm in it with you. What do you want? What do you want to do with your finances? What do you want to do with your time? What do you want to do with your business? What is your vision? Why do you want to build a team? What do you want your community to feel like? What kind of women do you want to help in your challenge group? How do you want them to feel once they've been touched by your presence in your challenge group? What is your vision for that community you're creating? And how can you serve others well now? That way you can have this vision come to fruition a year from now. Like you have to have that thing pushing you. When things get hard, you're like, okay, this is, this is my vision. I know what I'm working towards. So for me, when things got hard, and believe me, I've had hard moments and I've had hard months, but I knew what my vision was. I knew. And the moment I decided to become a full-time coach, there was no looking back for me because I knew the vision. I knew what I was working towards. So what are you working towards? And I'm not telling you that your vision needs to be full-time coach. That's not at all. But what would your vision be if you knew for sure that you could keep doing your full-time job that you love right now, but you could also earn a full-time income on part-time hours as a coach? What would your vision be with that money? What would you do? What's your vision? So my corporate mentor asked me this question this week, um, not to go too, too deep into it, but she was talking about just Beachbody as a whole and like rank advancements. And I don't know if you're familiar with Star Diamonds, but basically once you are a diamond coach and then you help other people become diamonds, there are bonuses. So if you are a 15 star diamond coach, I want to know how many people are on this call. I can't see right now because I'm, I got this up, but 15 people who are ready and willing to run with you and they have a vision and they're going and they become diamonds. You can make $56,000 a quarter a quarter in bonuses. And she asked me, she was like, what would you do with $56,000? And I was dumbfounded, like, what? <laughs> I, I literally don't know. That's what I told her. I said, I don't know. And quite frankly, 
$56,000 scares the living crap out of me because I'm a selfish human being. And to be honest, like, I'm just gonna be honest with you. You all know where I stand spiritually. And it scares the ever living crap out of me to know that I have the ability to make a crap ton of money in this business. That scares me to death. But what it made me think about is I need a vision and I need a plan because this team is on the road to success. We really are. We have so many women who are pushing and I, I don't even have a doubt in my mind that at some point, I don't know when, we're going to be a 15 star diamond team. I know that. Like, I don't have to question it. So what is my vision whenever, like, what am I going to do with that? You know, what is your vision when you begin making the income that you want to make and then you surpass it? What are you going to do with that money? What are you going to do when your team has 15 runners and you make $56,000 in a quarter? What are you going to do with that? Because if you don't have a plan, if you don't have a vision, at least for me, that number, I could become extremely self-centered with it. And my heart behind this business is to serve people well. So part of what I wanted to share with you tonight is one of my visions with this money. Like when we hit those goals, my vision is to bless you guys, to push you and to serve you well with what I earn. So one of the things that I wanted to put out there was like this year, we will be a five-star elite team. We will be. And how can I bless you? I just want you to start thinking if we hit five-star elite, if I have five diamonds, if we have five diamonds on this team, a percentage of what I make is coming right back to you because I want to reward you and thank you for your hard work. So I want you to think about what would push you? What would push you to hit diamond by the end of the year? How would you feel celebrated and rewarded for working super hard? And I want to push you even further. What is your vision to spoil and help your team? One of my big, big, big visions is to take my leaders on a ski trip. Like that will happen. I can't tell you when because it depends on our hard work. But if that, it, like this, if we are a 15 star diamond team, we are going on a ski trip. Like I am taking you on a ski trip. That's going to happen. I grew up with a dad who worked for a company and his district manager spoiled them rotten. And I'm so thankful that I did because I got to watch how that blessed my family growing up. My parents got to take a yearly trip away from us. And I guarantee you that they would say that was one of the best things for their marriage. And if I can give that gift to the people that work with me, I can't think of anything better. I cannot think of any better way to serve my team than to give them opportunities to travel on me to get time away from family, or that sounds terrible, to get time away from their kids so they can focus on their marriage and to travel and see the beautiful earth that God created. I literally can't think of anything better than that. So I want you to know my vision as a team. And when you see success is to spoil you and to thank you. Like that's what I want to do with that. And I want you to think about what you're going to do because this does not stop with fit for more. I know there are teams on here who are already growing. Some of you have already named your teams. What are you going to do when you get to that point? How are you going to reward your team? How are you going to thank them for working hard? That's what I want you to start thinking about. So it's pretty simple tonight, really, you guys. It's, it's simple, but I want you to start thinking, what is your vision? Because your vision is what's going to push you. I want you to think about finances. I want you to seriously think about what you want in life and if where you are right now, like are you living your vision right now? Because coaching can get you there. Like it really can. I, I never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would step away from, from teaching and des totally decide and design my own day. That was never part of my plan. But it's a gift that I've been given and it's one of the best gifts I've been given. And I already, I already could make a list of like a hundred things that have happened since August that never would have happened had I not taken a step of faith and walked into coaching full time. And just like I said, that may not be your vision and that's totally okay. But what would your vision be? What would you do if you could stay to your full time job 
and also make a full-time income on the side doing something you love. Your vision is going to push your business. Your, your vision is going to move your business. And if you don't have a vision, you have no idea what the heck you're working towards, your business is gonna take a hit and your business is gonna slow down because you're just swimming, swimming upstream and you have no idea where you're going. So this week, I really want you to sit. If you have to go out, go outside, get alone, take a pen and paper, put on some music that really gets you in the mood to think, whatever you need to do, go on a walk, whatever it is where you can get out and you can think and craft this vision, I promise you that's going to change your business more than pretty much anything you can do. You can listen to all the personal development. You can hop on all the team calls. You can do your workouts every day. You can meal plan like a pro. You can have the most beautiful social media, but if you're lacking vision, you're going nowhere. So I really want you to think about it this week. And I'm going to challenge you at some point. I don't know how, and I don't know when, but I'm going to challenge you to share it with us because when you speak it or when you put it on a board and you see it every single day, the crazy thing is people hold you accountable for it. And then all of these things that you said you wanted, I don't even want to hold this one up because I'm not quite there yet. Eventually that's, that's going to stay on the board, but all of these other things that you're putting on your vision board, they're going to happen. But if you're too freaking scared to even put them out there, they're not going to happen. I can promise you that. That's all I have. So 